Dr. Maggie, how damaging is stress to our bodies? We hear it all the time that it affects the alignment of our spines, you know, the, our, our emotions, our, our, the chemistry of our organs. How damaging is stress to our bodies? Stress is probably our number one health issue right now because okay. it encompasses so many things. Mm -hmm. And I, think of t I tell people, think of stress as like an umbrella. Okay. And there's ways that, that we get, we, there's different ways we get stressed out. So we get stressed out in how, and we're going to break it down into three things. How we Art. eat, how we move, how we think. Okay. And let's start with how we move. So if we are not moving, we are under stress. So a sedentary lifestyle will stress us out. And if we're not in alignment and our spine is not moving, we're not getting adjusted by chiropractors, then we are under stress. Then mm. if we look at how we eat, whether we're not getting enough nutrients or we're getting too much of a specific nutrient, that will cause us stress. And how we think, if we're worrying, if we're concerned, if we're not getting any relaxation time, if we're not feeling safe, loved, and important, then we will also be under stress. Now, how is this affecting the body? Mm -hmm. When you How get into yes. stress, your body goes into the fight or flight mode. So it's preparing for a battle. And so we need to make sure that we can run for a long time and fight for a long time because we don't know when our next meal we're going to be. We may be cut and be bleeding, so we have to heal wounds really quickly. We also need to make sure we remember where the stressful things are, but not necessarily learn anything new. All right. Because we can't learn new things if we're about to die. What does it matter? So and you're having a knee-jerk response to the environment all the time. All the time. We can focus on everything around us but not what's happening right in front of us because we need to make sure whether something's going to come out at us at any moment. You know? So we're doing this automatic response of fighting, but mm -hmm. we're not really and taking in everything around us, but we don't have the ability to learn anything new. So to wound repair, we need cholesterol and triglycerides. So all up right. goes cholesterol, up goes triglycerides. Oh. We need to have our body's ability to get whatever it is we need to go wherever in the body really fast. Up goes blood pressure because the bloodstream is how it gets there. All right. We need blood sugar because we need to be able to run or fight and have lots of energy. So we have high blood sugar. High blood pressure, high blood sugar, high triglycerides, high cholesterol. Platelets are how we stop blood from flowing. Mm -hmm. So we get an increased platelet count. We also need thick blood vessels or thin blood vessels if they're about to be in a battle. We want thick. Right. We, we want them to have to go through a lot to be cut open. So we start, to we start to thicken the wall of our blood vessels. Sound like any of the diseases we have right now in our society? <laughs> then we also want to be able to make sure that we can survive and navigate our way so we don't concentrate. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you fight off the cold because if you're about to be killed by a saber-toothed tiger, the sniffles aren't really going to get you. Uh -huh. So our immune system goes down. Oh. And we go into this wound healing, not preventing viruses, bacteria, that kind of stuff from getting there. So down goes the immune system. So the stress has brought down your immune system. It's, it's created right. all of these raised triglycerides, all these other yeah. elements. We're not the... done. <laughs> We're not done. Okay. We're also not going to lay down bone, so we get decreased bone loss. And we're not gonna reproduce, so down goes libido. We're also not going to have any memory because it doesn't really matter that you've remembered anything at that moment except what you need to, to survive. So down goes the ability to think and concentrate. Down goes your mood. Down goes your memory. Down goes your immune system. Down goes your libido. Down goes bone density. Hmm. Sound like some of the major diseases and pro health problems our medical community is fighting at this time? Yes, and we're often given antidepressants for those conditions. <laughs> so a lot of times when people out, right? are in pain, they're mm -hmm. given antidepressants. Mm -hmm. Now, I will never tell anybody not to take a medicine because they may be in an emergency situation. Okay. And the emergencies require emergency situations. That's the idea of having a fire. You put out the fire first. Mm -hmm. Then you go back in and you repair things. Right. So the idea is, is you may need it for that emergency situation. Okay. But is it restoring health? No. It's preventing forest fires. Okay. You know? And how do you prevent a forest fire? You don't start the fire. You know? Right, okay. So the idea is, is that we really need to create health. Okay, so when all of these uh, elements that you speak of happen in the body mm -hmm. due to stress, how does that affect the alignment of the spine, first of all? It goes out. 
You, your body does not move. When, you're, when a chiropractor says you have a misalignment, it means the joint doesn't move. And it moves as doesn't, little as okay. 1 64th of an inch out of alignment, and you are in high stress. And the spine fires into the nervous system, correct? Yes, over half the nerves that tell you that you are moving are around the spinal column. And so here's how we get out of it, because everybody's feeling really heavy right now, watching this going, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm done for. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's called fight or flight for a reason, All because right. if you can move, you can get out of this. So getting an adjustment will tell, will fire your nervous system. Mm -hmm. I had mine this morning. I feel fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> So you're going, and that movement or exercise or stretching or yoga or qigong or water aerobics or belly mm -hmm. dancing or whatever it is that makes you feel fun and exciting to dance and move, Zumba is another mm -hmm. great one. Oh, yes. Then what you're going to do is you're going to move the joint. You're uh -huh. going to move the spine. You're going to stimulate the nervous system in the cerebellum called the vermis. And the vermis is a little place that says we've moved. And you get enough movement in there, and it says, Phew, we survived the saber-toothed tiger. Then the body trips into restoring health. We start laying down bone again. We start looking to, um, our libido goes up. We then start to restore digestive system, and our triglycerides go down, our blood pressure goes down, our cholesterol goes down, our blood sugar goes down. And do you know where we gain weight when we're under stress? From armpit to knee. Really? Yep. So when that whole thing on the cortisol level... Not on level, your back? Well, from here to here. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So when, when the whole um, diet pills came out to reduce your cortisol levels mm -hmm. and reduce that belly fat due to cortisol levels being right, up, right. That's, that's stress. That's big. Yeah. That's stress. Mm. Cortisol is a stress hormone. Mm -hmm. So all these we're doing is artificially reducing the stress hormones in your body. Oh. But your body is trying to survive a stressful environment. Mm -hmm. So you're just completely messing with that system that's trying to help you survive this. So would it not be better to figure out how to reduce the stress in your environment and increase your capacity to handle it so it takes more stress to get you out of mm -hmm. health okay. and keep you in health longer? So that's what we need to learn to and, get us there. And that's a good description of how the spine is affected by that yes. stress and then does not fire into the nervous right. system. So you can exercise all you want, but if your spine is locked up mm -hmm. and not moving, mm -hmm. you're only getting some oh, okay. of the benefits. Right. That's why chiropractic is part of that healthy lifestyle. That's why it's so important because you can't tell. Like if my arm does not bend all the way, mm -hmm. I can see that. Mm -hmm. But do people know that their spine moves full range of motion? Rarely. No. no. Rarely, rarely, rarely. And so it's important for us to know, and only a chiropractor can tell you if your spine is out of alignment. That's what we do best. I'm not looking to practice medicine. I'm looking to practice chiropractic. I'm learning. I'm wanting to teach you mm -hmm. and help you to learn how to take your spine through full range of motion, to evaluate for you if that's not happening, mm -hmm. and then to teach you about how you keep the spine moving through how you eat, how you move, and how you think. Thank you, Dr. Maggie. Thank you.